so you bought yourself a living pure heater last year and you've been really enjoying it and you went to turn it on and the switch came apart in your hand or it was hanging halfway off. This apparently is a very common problem with these things. I'm going to show you today how easy it is to actually replace that switch and tell you where to obtain a switch. First thing you want to do is take a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew the filter that's on the back. Once the filter's out, it actually pulls right out. I do want to mention that uh, you definitely want to make sure that the unit is unplugged before you attempt any of this. Next thing is going to be you need a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife, something that's going to get inside uh, on the top and the bottom to the factory switch. Now you could probably get a screwdriver to press up and what you're doing is you're pushing in a detent that pulls out the switch. You can also get your hands on it and move it around so you'll see that it's not that difficult to get out but sometimes they, you do have to fight with them a little bit. A butter knife might make a little more sense because you could put both, push both detents at one time at the top and then on the bottom and then wiggle this thing out and as you can see it's fighting me a little bit. There we go. So once it's out you can pull it out like this. You'll see that there's only four wires attached to it. What you're going to do is you're going to obtain a switch which I can show you where to get and you're going to change the wires one at a time so that you don't lose track of them. And in pulling this out I actually disconnected my top left wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the wires one at a time so that there's nothing mixed up. Uh, the top ones take these these blue the blue wires which we're going again one at a time pulling off the blue wire they're the most difficult to get um, the white wires which are on the bottom have a little bit heavier of a switch that's because they're directly connected to your power cord so we're going to pull the the left one off first. We're going to wiggle that one on. And we're going to pull the last one off. Might even be easier to reach underneath like I'm doing to get your finger on the terminals. So once it's done, you take your switch and you wiggle it in place and it snaps in on off all that's left to do is to test our unit as you can see I plugged the unit in right where I was working flip the switch turn it around you can see that it's powered on voila your heaters fixed and it took less than five minutes